Hi there, welcome to this walkaround video of our 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLE 63S. It's one of our only ones in stock at the moment. We're just going to go around the outside of the car, go around the woods and and show you a few bits. So for the front of the car, you can see it's got the optional night package, which includes blacking out all the badges and those parts of the grille there. And it's got the 360 camera, which you can see on that front there. There's another camera underneath each of the mirrors and then one on the back of the car. We've just had all four wheels refurbished in matte black, really offsets the car quite nicely along with the black trims on the car and you've got those big red calipers there to really stand out and really stop the car on this as well very effective brakes you've got the v8 by turbo badges there so it's got the big 5.5 twin turbo and then coming around to this corner here see it's got the really really wide rear tires you've got the sensors all around the back of the car so it gives you like a wraparound effect looking down that side of the car there's no dents or anything like that at all and obviously you've got the roof rails along with the pan roof system as well. Coming round to the back, you've got the big four-pot AMG exhaust system with the blacked out exhaust tips as well. And obviously you've got the GL, GLE 63 S badge in. No dents or marks or anything along the back here. Nice chrome trim there. Bit of a scuff plate obviously for anything that goes in the boot. And again, that real, rear wheel there. Tire tread's still really good. And then when you look down the side again, there's no marks or anything like that, no door dings. And again, you got that wheel there. Car has keyless entry on all four corners of the car. So you see the little divot there, basically means it's got keyless entry. So you can even go to the back door and it'll unlock the car. The mirrors will fold out and you've got access to the back of the car. We'll start off in here. You can see you've got the AMG carpets there, which all clip in. You've got the leather seats and the AMG badge in there. And you've got heated rear seats along with the dual air con, so it's all controlled through there. We've got heated seats for the two outer seats there. We'll jump into the front. And again, you've got all the seat controls and memory settings for the front passenger seat, as well as the drivers. So you can have the memory settings on the passenger. You've got Harman card and sound system. So obviously you've got the speaker there, there, and you have some in the back as well along with the ones along the front. So the main interior from this side, really nice and welcome in here. Seats are nice and comfy. You've got nice big leather bolsters there. Got your AMG badging up there. Really nice and comfy seats. And again, like I said, you've got the sat now, you've got the pan roof, sorry, front and rear. And obviously the front one will tilt and slide. And go around the front of the car, just to show there's very few stone chips on here. Very few marked at all. Survive the UK roads quite nicely. Obviously, there'll be very, very minor ones here and there, just like that little one there. But looking around the whole car, there really isn't much on it at all. Come around to the driver's side. So, again, you've got your AMG Sport steering wheel, the Alcantara sides, AMG badge in there, seat controls, and then the wing mirror controls and the window switches, illuminated AMG door seals. And again, driver's seat, nice and comfy, nice and big bolsters. We'll jump in, put the keys in there for now. And then when you come into the car, you've got the big infotainment screen there. You've got your main dash there. Car's on 44,000 miles, which is actually really good for the age. And then you've got your push to start button just down here. So I felt on the brake. We'll open up the door as well, just to get the cold start in. features so it's got apple carplay there as you can see which just has to be connected via the usb ports down the back there you've got your main controls for the infotainment up here so see as and when you kind of flick through it's just like that and you're controlling it through there you've got back button you select you've got radio so you can see radio connectivity kicks in all your volume controls are in the middle here so you've got a little bit of an easier access there as well. Seats wise, you've got heated and cooling seats. So if you put on the cooling setting, it will like blow cool there through the bottom of the seats. And also you've got your standard three stage heated seating. Stop start, as you can see, is operated there. So you can turn it on and off. And this just gives you whatever mode the car is in. So 
so you can you can adjust the suspension on the car and everything like that and then you've got your aircon controls down here cruise control there and the electrical steering column because obviously as you move the you've got four-way adjustment there you've got your paddles shift up and down wiper stalk and then the gear shifter there so obviously you put on the brake and then you'd knock up into reverse get your 360 camera kicking and then the mirror dips down as well and then you've got the reverse camera and obviously then you've got drive as well your 360 camera still remains uh, and then we'll put it back into park we'll pop the car into sport just so you can obviously hear the exhaust so as you change through the car's revs will kind of pick up so you've got slippery as well which is another thing as well uh, another setting so it helps with off-road driving sport you can hear the revs pick up in the car Sport Plus, but obviously it opens up the valves in the exhaust and you get the sportier display up here. Give the car a few revs. Lots of noises, lots of turbo noise. And a nice deep rumble as well on idle. As you can see. And there we are. Coming back around to the front so you can see the headlights kick in as well. And there we are, thank you for watching this video.